welcome to stage two of the Postman Pat video game um, tutorial. In this stage, we're going to make, um, uh, we're going to add some colours to the Postman Pat van. Uh, we're going to add a, uh, a plane, so a rectangle that it's going to drive around on, and we're going to add some lighting. Um, so we haven't put on, we're not going to put on any pictures at this stage, we're just going to put solid colours. So the point we're starting from, from the previous tutorial, um, we just made a simple postman pat uh, outline shape. Um, so if you start from that point, the first thing we're going to do is change the colours of some of the materials. So right click to select, and then on the right hand side on the panel, um, click on the materials um, tab, which is uh, the one that looks like a radioactive symbol. So click New for a new material, and I've selected one of the wheels, so I'm going to call the material Wheel. Press Enter. Um, you can change the colour of the material. I'm going to make my wheels black. Um, and the diffuse colour is um, the colour that light, um, well, that it, it is naturally. Um, the specular colour is um, the colour that it looks like when light bounces off it. Um, so the diffuse colour is the main colour that you set for the material. And then if I right click, or if you right click on any of the other wheels, if you click on the radioactive symbol thing, you can then choose that same material for the other wheels. Okay, so right click on the wheels and set the material. And then similar for the postman pat truck, like the body of it. So, um, it's already got a material here, I'll click on it and call it van, press enter, set the diffuse colour to red, and that's now red with black wheels. So in the next stage of the tutorial we'll put actual textures on, but for now that will do. Okay, I'm going to click, left click, to put the 3D cursor um, just ideally in between all of the wheels, and then I'm going to press shift and A to add and add a mesh um, of a plane. Now a plane is just a flat square. It's that grey square just here. And if I press S for scale and move the mouse out, I'm going to make that plane much bigger. So this is going to be where we put the, uh, the texture of um, where the Postman Pat van is going to drive around a little bit later, but for now it's just going to be a solid colour. The wheels of my van go through the plane, so I'm going to press G for grab. Um, and move it down, um, but I want to make sure I move it down on the Z axis, so I just press Z, so I only move it up or down, and I want it to be just beneath the wheels. There we go. Um, I'm not going to change the colour of, um, of that plane just yet, but I am going to add some lighting. And um, You've got different types of lighting. The lights are these things here. There should only be one in your scene at the moment. You can move them around with G, um, and it will change the lighting of the scene. To be able to see the effect of the lighting, you have to change the render mode. At the moment, it's just in uh, solid view. If we change it to texture view, and you see all of the lighting. So when you press G and move the lights, you can see it all around. So I'm going to try and set up a sort of daylight. So I'll keep that light over there. Um, and we'll also add, I'll click over, left click, and add a sun. So a sun will have light everywhere from all directions. I'm just going to turn it down so it's not too light. And I've got one directional light over here. One point light, sorry. Just um, a point light is light that comes from a point in space. So that's where the light comes from. And I'll also have one over on the opposite side because this side of the van is quite dark at the moment. So from the direction where it's dark, I'll press Shift and A again, and add another light, and I want a point light over there. So you can play around by moving your light. I've just pressed G to grab it, and you can see as you move it around, it changes the lighting. It's not too important at this stage where the lights go, as long as you can see most angles of your Postman Patman. So maybe I'll add one more light over here, Shift A, point and that will do for now. 